Good day guys. So I've been wondering how to implement Google Play Billing Library into your app in an easy way. So in this video, I've prepared a demo as well as the codes and a repository for you guys to just reuse these codes for you. And it's going to save much time um, when you develop these in-app purchases into your app, right? So uh, I'm currently using the latest version, which is... Uh, 5.0.0 and there is this repository of mine here it's very public to everyone you can reuse this code as much as you want uh, and thank you to those who gave me stars if you haven't please go to this repository and just give me a star it really means a lot to me and another thing that i would like from you guys is to consider uh, donating a small amount to keep me um, motivated uh, to update this repository with the latest versions uh, thank you now it's time to run the demo I'll go ahead and open my uh, my physical phone so this is my physical phone I'm running the app on my physical phone I can click there then it's uh, running a splash screen then this is the main activity and then on the main activity I have a text view and three buttons right so as you can see on a text view you are not subscribed right so we are checking on the splash screen whether the user has um, a subscription or what right so like if i have a subscription then i download this app to a different phone then i log in with the same email address that is on my play store account the app is going to pick up that this user still has a subscription then it's going to activate a subscription for for that user right so now we can go ahead and open up subscriptions then inside the subscription i have uh, three products these are the three products that i've set up on my google console account then you can add as much as you want um as much as you want uh, the number of products right if you can add up until to 12 products right so in my demo i have um a text view an image view as well as this is a recycler viewer that i'm listing the products now so now adding a product in my demo it's dynamic right you can just add the number of products then you don't have to worry about going to edit the buttons and stuff you just need to add a product a product id uh, to be specific so i have an action uh floating action button there at the bottom which i when i click it it's supposed to um uh what is this okay when i click this button it's supposed to check if i have a subscription or not so now when i go to my um my play store account then i check under subscriptions now i don't have any subscriptions right because when i click here there's no subscriptions that are returned right so to get subscription you need to click any product right so now i subscribe so now i have a subscription under this email account this one this email account so if i were to take this email account this one and log into a different device and then reinstall the app then my subscription is going to um, activate it into that um, device that i've logged in right so now i have a subscription then if i go and press this restore you see my subscription has been restored now you can close this app and open it again so as you can see now the text view it changed from not subscribe to a subscribe right so i can go back to subscription then now i try to repurchase this subscription that i already have so this is the error that i get i can go and manage my subscription and then uh okay before i do that uh, i want to show you that even if you uninstall the app 
you'll get a notification saying that I still have a uh, subscription to this app, right? This is just Play Store stuff. So I'll go ahead and reinstall the app in the same device. Okay, so now it's, it has been installed. I still have the subscription. Even if I can go to under subscriptions, try to repurchase it, none. Restore it, yes. Then what now I need to test to show you guys is to cancel the subscription, try to restore it. So the subscription is going to expire in uh, three minutes. You see, it's it, it's going to charge me every five minutes because i'm using a test account so you can just decline this cancel the subscription then after two minutes from now i will no longer have access to this subscription right well now it's um 16 minutes past three so my subscription now it has expired and then I can go ahead and confirm yes. So now when I go back to the app, uh, let me close it. Then I reopen the app, right? Then now you see it changed to subscribe to not subscribe. This is happening in the splash screen. So the splash screen, it has a functionality to check whether you still have a subscription or not right so even if you go to the subscription page and then you try to restore it says no purchases found this is the end of our demo please consider subscribing and liking the video comment if you have any questions i'll be glad to help you guys thank you